The government shutdown is now on day 19 and there is no end in sight. President Trump just tweeted he had an unsuccessful meeting with top Democrats about funding for the border wall. This all comes after last night's address where he called illegal immigrants crossing the southern border a growing humanitarian crisis, then blamed the shutdown on Democrats. The federal government remains shut down for one reason and one reason only, because Democrats will not fund border security. Now, Democrats responded, saying the debate over the wall should be separate so the government can reopen. The symbol of America should be the Statue of Liberty, not a 30-foot wall. Meanwhile, President Trump says he has not ruled out the possibility of declaring a national emergency in order to get the wall. All right, so UCF history professor and our News 6 political analyst Jim Clark joins us now to talk more about all that's happening. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here with us. This is your first appearance of 2019. It is. So we're excited <laughs> to see always, you. Yes. And we have so much to cover with this, but I know you said you wanted to start talking about the local impact. First of all, that that really is significant. Yeah, there are almost 10,000 people in uh, Orange and Seminole and Osceola counties who won't get a paycheck Friday. Uh, January 11th, Friday is payday, and they're not going to get paid. Surprisingly, some of them are still working. Right. People like Secret Service agents, people like TSA people are still at work but not getting paid. But most are sitting at home. And the danger, of course, is that it ripples through the the economy, that, that these folks aren't going out to dinner. They're not sure. shopping mm -hmm. in stores, things like that. And Orlando has a relatively small federal employment. It's much worse in Jacksonville and Tampa, where you have the huge military presence. And yeah, and you're talking about like people that. who some of them live paycheck to paycheck, and missing one or two paychecks really makes a difference. You're absolutely right. Uh, for some reason, people, the average government salary is about $85,000, but that includes people making uh, almost 200000 mm -hmm. So most people are not, uh, you know, wealthy, and they are, as you say, living paycheck to paycheck, mm -hmm. and this is a, a real burden for them. There was a little bit of breaking news yesterday. Uh, the government announced that food stamps would be funded through February. They were set to basically run out this month, but that is another element that could be affected by all of this. You're absolutely right. There are a bunch of government programs that could eventually be affected because they're going to run out of money. They're going to... Mm -hmm. They're going to run Do out of money. Do you see any end to this? I mean, it seems like both sides are pretty dug in on, you know, this issue. They really are. And uh, the numbers tell us that uh, most people don't want a wall uh, and that uh, President Trump's popularity has taken a hit. Uh, but he has uh, made this his issue. And now it's going to be tough for him to go to his followers and say, well, I'm throwing in the towel. Well, does it make it, I mean, how does he then explain to the people who are still with him the, the statement, that famous meeting where he says, I will be happy to take credit for a shutdown. I won't put it on the Democrats. And, and now he's squarely placing it on the Democrats. How do you explain that? Uh, obviously, it made him look bad. I'm not sure he expected a, a shutdown at that point. I'm sure he did not expect it to last this many days. But uh, the American people, according to the polls, are blaming him and the Republicans in Congress almost two to one over the Democrats. Well, and you wonder why it got to this point. I mean, for the past two years, Republicans have controlled both houses. So couldn't they have done something to kind of prevent this before it got to this point? Well, that's an excellent point. And, and the problem now is the Democrats control the House. So if it couldn't pass when the Republicans controlled the House and the Senate... There's no chance it's going to pass now with the Democrats in control. Well, hopefully there will be some sort of resolution yeah. soon. Very soon. Yeah, yeah, a lot people of people's lives are yeah. being disrupted. And, yeah. and don't forget, it's not only the government employees. It's people at uh, the University of Central Florida waiting research grants. Uh, yeah. uh, there are government contractors. There's thousands, a big trickle-down effect. Yeah. Thousands of government contractors in Orlando. Gee, what should we do? Yeah. All right, Jim Clark. Our UCF expert and political yes. analyst, thank you so much. If you missed the president's address last night, we posted the full speech on our website. Just look for the video on clickorlando.com slash politics.